Aisha. And this is... We started? Oh. <laughs> no, we can begin now. I was, I was thrown off by food. <laughs> okay. Just my pipe. I'm not strong, so I'm not going to do that. Okay. Hi. Hi. Who are you? I'm Felicia. And I'm Michaela. And this is... Our review of... Undermining. We're being so lame right now. <laughs> we are being lame right now. Um, I feel undermined. How about you? Sometimes I feel a little undermined. Sometimes yeah. over mind, so it, 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 it balances out in the end. Sometimes over, sometimes under. Sometimes just enough mind. I'm guessing these are meteorites. Uh huh. Around Jupiter. But this is a futuristic car on the moon. So wait, they're mining in the sky. That's some deep shit. That's. Mind, that is really deep that's shit. mind blowing that's really um oh and Michaela has something to ask you she wants fan mail sometimes when i feel undermined it helps me to feel overmined when you write me fan mail exactly i really like to read my fan mail me too i really like to like yeah read my fan mail sometimes i feel like a failure but when i do I just and she go, needs your approval and, and I, your approbation sometimes the approval of a stranger an anonymous stranger on the other side of a computer screen just makes me feel like the happiest girl in the world. Me too. So uh, what's going to happen now is that you guys are going to click on the crew link. You're going to find myself and Michaela and you're going to send us fan mail. Do you think that we need therapy? In undermining, players are trying to complete contracts and upgrade their digger to get the most victory points by the end of the game. In the box, you'll get a playing board which represents the moon you are digging. The board is also two-sided for more variety. You'll get your very own digger with slots to place your upgrades and keep track of your battery power. Starbucks, which are victory points ranging from 3 to 8. Contract cards, which are the cards you'll be trying to complete. Upgrade tiles, which are used to make your digging machine better than your competitors. Alien technology cards, which are one-time uses but can make you win the game. And finally, a shitload of resource tokens. The game ends when one of the three Starbucks pile is depleted. Here's how to set up the game. Choose a side of the board you want to play on. Next, shuffle all the resources and play them all on the board to form the mining area. Make sure the upper part is all solid rock. Shuffle the alien tech cards and the contract cards separately and place them where they belong on the board. The contract deck is face up. Turn over three contract cards on the board. Next, make three piles of Starbucks tokens in order of eight to three. Each player selects a machine and places four power cubes in the battery slot. The two automatic upgrades which all the players have are the two cargo bays. Each player now places their pawns on the surface of the moon. You're now ready to start digging. At the start of your turn, you will have three action points. These actions are well described in the player summary cards included with the game. You also get one extra action for each reactor upgrade on your machine. Your actions are to drill, which allows you to drill in an adjacent spot, plus one space for each drill you have on your machine. You can do the drive action, which is to move into two empty spaces, plus one for each rocket booster you have on your machine. You can use an action point to move from one portal to another. You can use a point to recharge one battery cube. You can use a point to unload your cargo from your cargo bay to the smelter. To do this, you have to be on the smelter spot. You can spend resources to complete a contract, which is also an action point. And finally, you can spend an action point to build upgrades using resources you have. If you really need to take an extra action, you can spend two battery cubes. So basically, players are spending action points digging deeper into the moon, collecting resources and bringing them back up to the surface to buy upgrades and fill contracts. When you buy an upgrade, simply put the token into your machine. When you complete a contract, you get the topmost Starbucks and the card is replaced with a new one from the top of the deck. Keep doing this until one of the three Starbucks piles is empty. When you try digging into a solid rock, instead of moving into it, turn it onto the rubble side. This just means it's a hard area and takes more time to dig through. If you dig into an alien tech resource, you can bring it to the surface and then trade it in for an alien tech card. These cards can be played on your turn only and are very powerful. I think that covers about everything. Just use your action wisely when digging and make sure to upgrade your machine while filling out contracts. They are both important since you also get victory points depending on how many upgrades you have. In the end, the player with the most upgrades in Starbucks wins the game. The games are not very long and have some good moments. There is some player interaction since you can block portals and resources which other players might need. 
The alien tech cards also help in making each game a different one. The layout is always random and is open for custom moon designs. The artwork is fun and appealing. The rule book explains everything you need to know to play the game and the summary cards help any new gamer play the game easily. We really enjoyed this game and we're giving it 8 diamond filled stars out of 10.